Yer, what up? Welcome back to another video. So, let's talk about everything that's that went wrong with my 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. We're gonna be talking about the ticking sound. Yeah, that ticking sound. That sounded absolutely horrible and it scared the shit out of me because I, I really thought it was gonna be something worse, but it wasn't. But we fixed that main issue and then found another issue. So if you saw the previous videos, you guys know what went on and no, before a lot of you guys were asking me, whoa, is that your new bike? Is that your deluxe? No, that's not my deluxe. That's actually the loaner bike that Mike lent me over from uh, Tour Custom Cycles. Because my bike is still in the shop. I'm going to be picking it up tomorrow. He actually lent me his, so not too shabby. A little, nice little deluxe. That's a loaner for a few days. So if you guys did watch the last video, or the last two on the lower battery rest, the main issue that the bike had was that it had two collapsed lifters. I was going to go in there uh, opening everything up. I decided, well, you know what? I want a stage two anyways. They're going to go in to fix the stuff. Why not now? So I went ahead and I ordered a SNS. 475 cam uh, with the whole kit, back plate, oil pump, lifters, uh, the tappet covers on top, um, just everything from SNS. We went ahead, changed that, um, thought that we fixed the issue, took the bike out, they took it out for a ride just to make sure everything was running fine. Uh, they turned the bike on, sounded amazing with the cam in it, they took it around, came back and it, the bike was sounded again. So. Um, we called SNS up, they were like, listen, just try to uh, tweak the, the push rods. Cause sometimes that's an issue. So we went ahead, they readjusted the push rods, took the bike out again, came back with the same issue. Called them back again. That same lifter was sinking again. So we found that to be weird. So they were like, you know what? At, at this point, it needs to be something else. Um, it, it needs to be something on the top rocker. So took the rockers apart on top, Come to find out that the other issue was that the rocker arm was loose. So apparently the bolts that hold down the rocker arm um, are not keeping everything down tight like they should be. So this is an ongoing thing apparently with the M8. Also the Harley lifters sinking is also another issue apparently with the M8. So after all this happened, I had to go on YouTube. I had to see if other people were having the same issues with the bike. And yeah, quite a few people have been having the same issue, same exact noise, and it's the same exact problems that they're having. So it's the collapsed lifters, and then it's just the rocker arm on top that's coming loose. So um, I did do some research, and I mean, I kind of want to get them now, but eventually I'm gonna have to go back in there and, and, and do that. But I found out that Fueling does make a stud kit, um, so their studs are actually a bit different, and they tighten the whole arm down a bit more. Um, I also found out, oh, I forgot the name of the company, but there's this other company that does make an aftermarket rocker arm uh, to replace the one that Harley makes because those, uh, from what I know, after a while, they, they just start eating away where they hit the valves. Um, so that's another thing that I kind of want to change. Luckily, nothing else was wrong with the valve train um, and the springs are good as well. Um, because I heard that those springs also do go down the line. Who knows? I, I, I got to see exactly where we're gonna be taking the bike after this because stage two we just put in. So I'm gonna see how that's gonna be performing. But eventually, if we do decide to do something else or maybe do a stage three to the bike, I'm gonna be switching all that out just to be on the safer side. Um, so if you guys are having these issues with your bike, then this is what it could be. Now, I know some of you guys might want to be asking me, when did I start hearing the sound? So the sound, it, it started a while ago, but it wasn't as much. So the whole time I'm thinking, hey, it, it just it just could be the sound from the valve train. Since the Milwaukee 8s make that weird noise, I thought it, it, it was just that. Um, but then obviously last week it just got really, really, really bad. Um, and yeah, that's, you know, yeah, that it all just, yeah. But thankfully, 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 nothing else happened. Uh, my engine didn't blow like 
Jerry's did. So Jerry's engine blew. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully these issues are resolved and I don't have any issues whatsoever. Tomorrow I'm gonna be picking up the bike. I'm gonna be doing a video first ride with the uh, cam just to give you guys my first impression on the bike after having the stage two on there. So that's gonna be a video. And then I'm gonna be doing another video a few weeks down just to touch base to see if everything is holding up well or if something has gone wrong. So that's gonna be coming as well. And a few other ideas that I got coming down the pipeline um, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. If anyone is having those type of issues, this is what it could be. I'm super excited to go and pick up that bike tomorrow. I just, just I, I need to have it here. It's, yeah, we're gonna be spending a lot more time on the low rider rest now, guys. I promise you. Uh, that's gonna be it. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And if you want to see more content like this, more Harley news, more upgrades, more day-to-day -day videos with these bikes, um, you're definitely in the right place. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.